Since its inception, Formula E's position has been a testbed for electric mobility. As the championship has evolved, its links to major manufacturers have strengthened, with developing technology transferring from race to road. Where it really makes sense is to make sure we involve car manufacturers because they are the ones who, at the end of the day, will learn from the technology we develop here on the track. So when we set up the team, it was really clear that it made more sense to partner with a car manufacturer to try to accelerate that process. This is a platform which announces our arrival in some parts of the world. It's a part of our responsibility to evangelize the utility of electric vehicles and that's something we're taking up through this championship. There's an excellent opportunity to showcase technologies that we're developing that are going to find our way in our road car and at the same time take lessons learned from Formula E and bring that back. So we see it as kind of a two-way street where we see road to race and we see opportunities from race to road. We all know electric mobility is going to come more and more on the normal roads. It's a unique possibility to run in the center of the big capitals of the world, which no other championship is able to do. So you can create a very good link to really the people living in the cities, which is the place where for sure electric mobility is going to be the most important. We're going to bring technology that we're developing for the road cars and of course that gives us an edge as we move into the motor development as well. So I think there's good synergies. I think we're at a very important part in the development of this whole technology. So racing and road cars probably closer with this technology than they are in other parts of the uh, developments. With total electric car sales now past the 2 million mark globally, consumer demand for clean energy means that global car brands like Audi, BMW and Jaguar now see Formula E as the perfect ecosystem to develop all electric road cars. I do see Jaguar's future heading towards a very electric future. This is just the beginning, we're learning a lot. The Jaguar I-Pace concept is uh, Jaguar's first indication of uh, electric production car. It's going to be a fantastic car, but I think the next one will be even better, and then better still. It won't be the last electric car you will see over the next few years. There will be more. We said it's all about two pillars. The first one is to develop technology. The second is a marketing platform to make electric vehicles more sexy and, and make people realize, and simply, I guess, just bridge the gap between the perception of what people have of electric cars and what these cars actually can do. Five years ago, when we said that, most people thought, you're crazy, but now it's actually becoming really real, and people understand what these cars can do. But what's really interesting about Formula E, and the reason why you see so many car manufacturers coming in, is that you can really shorten that time frame between the development of what's happening here on the track and the road. We used to say it's 10, 15 years, roughly on average, to get a real technology invented on the track to go on the road. Here, there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't do it in two years. You're mostly talking about software and a few components, so it's really really doable.